Cooper here to show you how to use the MESR meter for testing capacitors in circuit and this is model MESR 100 which is auto ranges the V2 is a model as well so what we do basically we hold the red button here on the unit till the unit turns on Now we have it turned on. Now what we basically do we connect the uh, red to red, black to black. And what we need to short, what we need to do here, we need to short the two wires, black and red together. Use the clip to hold it up tight. Take your hand away from it so you won't misread the capacity is in your body. It's gonna make the difference. This is already getting zeroed out. You hit the auto range button, then you hit the zero button, let it go. One more time. Go zero it in. No, we disconnect the clip out of it. And what we need to test today is these um, points on the circuits. The capacitance points are here. As you can see, they're here. They're here, here, here. Here and here and here. These are one, two, three, four capacitor. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna connect the two terminals at both ends. Wait for the system. The cap is good. That's what it says. You can read it right there. Now remove the two and connect the next one. It says good capacitor with low ESR on this particular one. I don't know if you can see it, but you can get it at the range point. Good capacitor with low ASR. Okay, that's the second one. Check the third one. Can we get the same reading? Good capacitor with low ESR on this one as well. We go move to the last one, which is right here. We get the same reading as well. Good capacitor with low ESR. same exact reading okay the way this thing works is computer resistance in the circuit and all that based on the parameter with the capacitor and gives you the precise reading if the capacity is good so you don't have to remove